nine days ago. The music saying the something went wrong. Occurred in Dacus yeah. City. And unbeknownst to us, it was merely the prologue of a greater cataclysm to come. Yeah, here we go. This feels like the new arc beginning. Is this the, what do you call it? The forest titan that we saw? All for one's ally. <laughs> what? Who is this? Why is he naked? The only naked character we want to see is Mirio. It looks a lot like him. No, it looks a lot like him. I don't know. I don't trust myself with anime faces. They're really confusing. You must have bonded during your training, given how well you work together, huh? Does it look yeah. that way to you? No, they did. That's right. We're friends. Huh? <laughs> Where the hell do you get off making up random crap? This is on TV? Oh my god, Bako. Think of your parents or someone. Training beside each other doesn't mean we're friends. Yeah, this is horrifying. I agree. This is... Is this live? Can we edit this later? Can we... Have a Merry Christmas! Wow, that's like perfect timing. Yeah, it's weird how like oddly my timeline matches the MHA timeline so well. They were interviewed for an entire hour, but all Bakugos answers were trashed! He's just an angry blip. Oh, they did edit it out. <laughs> it was a really good call not having that be live. They really did. It was so humiliating. So embarrassing. I heard that the damage in Dega City was worse than in Camino, but since yeah. it was less populated, there were fewer casualties. It's only going to get worse, right? I think that's what they've been setting up. As powers get more and more consolidated, we're heading towards this inevitable doomsday. And it can happen in multiple different ways, right? Like the first way I interpreted it was that somebody would just eventually be born. That's a collection of so many different powers. They would, wouldn't would be able to control it. And that is potentially devastating effects. But I mean, it's also possible that it just falls into the wrong hands. Like look at All for One, for example. If this trajectory continues, it's only going to get worse, not better. How do you cope with that, I wonder? What's the show's answer to that? I don't know. In the past, if there was an incident with this many casualties, everyone would be blaming the heroes for their ineptitude in the field. But right now, for the most part, I've seen more encouragement than disapproval. Things have shifted a little bit since season four or season three. Look, boy, we got Look, look Boy to thank. Look at him! Do you know what he's doing right now? Everyone can be a hero. Societal opinion shifts so quickly. That lady has dropped in as a guest instructor. She'll teach you how to deal with publicity. Yeah, she's perfect for that. I'm psyched to fear, but isn't she the most celebrity obsessed pro there is? Quiet, shrimp! Let's not sleep on Mount Lady. She knows her stuff. That doesn't mean that's all she cares about. She's shown up in key moments. I think I also had the wrong impression of her at first. But let's do our best to go for <laughs> you guys! Yep, yeah. that's the class A way. Kirishima taking the de facto leadership role. Problem is, if a handsome boy like you showed up to save me, I'm afraid my heart would go into overdrive. Oh, do you have heart problems? So dense. But cute. Wow. Wow, Shoto. I'm working to refine a move called Flash Freeze Heat Wave. It's really good at taking the carbonation out of soda. He should learn those, like, fingertip laser moves and never did to destroy that building. That was spectacular. You flash those pearly whites and the ladies will drop dead, you feel me? If I smile, then they'll die? No, bang on! Thick. Very thick. Your ultimate moves are like your personal calling cards. People won't forget you if you show off your assets. Assets. I'm pretty sure that until recently, she didn't think about anything except how she looked on camera. It's not just Mount Lady. Hmm? Right now, all the pros are being challenged to do better. I see you, best genius. It does feel true to me that this is how it started. It did start with this sort of safe world, thanks to All Might, where society was stable enough where heroes had sort of the time and the luxury of thinking about their status and image and careers. But to their credit, when things started to fall apart, they realigned their values and, you know, they showed up as actual heroes, which makes it seem like their superficial focus at the start of the show wasn't really an indication of their characters as much as it was just maybe an indication of the times. You know, like All Might had created this amazing peace for everyone and people are going to be people and strive for things. And just in, in times of peace, you get people doing weird things and striving for weird things because there are no immediate threats in which to pour their energy. While I don't want to say the superficialities are good, there's perhaps something just good about the fact that people are able to even have a life where they focus on superficialities just because of what it means. You know, it means they live in abundance. You know, you think about people who came before us that lived a more difficult existence and fought for a better existence, even if just, you know, at their local individual level, working, perhaps even dying for just some small victory, wouldn't that affluence be something that they smiled upon to some degree? You know, I think a mistake lies in being too, too critical of people who are just enjoying the fruits of that abundance, even if they don't understand, you know, the, the gravity of what they have and how easily it could be lost. I want to live up to the honor and Passion he embodied as in Jenny. You're oozing. He brings the passion. Yeah. My name is Creati, and your safety is guaranteed. Confidence makes people rely on you. If only they knew the doubt in Momo's heart. Your problems and fears are weightless. Right, I'll also kill any opposition. I will like, kill them. I'm not gonna say stupid stuff like 
that! I am <laughs> trust me! I think I understand now. You just have a problem with humanity. Yeah, I understand. It's just a small problem of your entire personality. And I definitely don't want your apologies! Okay. <laughs> so, maybe it would be prudent to teach Bakugo to follow your lead and avoid the media entirely. It's true. There's a path there as well, right? What a treat. I saw you in action. Oh no, is Sekou not good at this? This is important. If you want to be the greatest symbol of peace. But I didn't want to just copy All Might, so I tried to customize my moves so they feel unique to me while also being true all And that's too much. Example, with Delaware Smash Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming, Deku. Right. One for all's new power. It's kind of hilarious to me how we got all these cool powers right after we learned this like finger blasting technique and the finger blasting technique was supposed to be so great. <laughs> it was like this huge innovation and just in light of new events, it's it, it's nothing. It's just nothing. I just have to open the lock. Now, the same way I trained to control a percentage of one Is he doing this now during the interview? This is a bold choice. Well, I thought I was right there, so we're good. Oops. I did it! Yeah! Yeah, wow, that's amazing. Fantastic job, Deku. It's bad for your coat if you don't get rest. No, no, I'm sleeping fine. No need to be concerned. I don't I feel like All Might hasn't slept in fifty years. You can't do what All Might does and sleep. We're resuming the work studies program this quickly. Don't you have a chair somewhere? But it's so much warmer to be snuggled inside your binding clothes. That's cute. We originally decided to pause the program after talking with the agencies. We wanted to reassess everything. Well, sentiment has shifted. Quite a bit. Are they ordering us to send these kids out? I feel like they know what's coming. Something big is coming. I thought there was an oversaturation of us. It wasn't too long ago that that was an issue, yeah. It never ends. It never ends. It's just a cycle. It's a pendulum. As Kayama said, them telling us to restart the work studies feels like a mandate instead of a suggestion from the commission. It's sort of overwhelming when you think about it. Just the fact that it never seems to end. You know, it just it goes on and on. You win today and lose tomorrow, and then win again the next day and lose again the next day, etc., etc. Society and also the upper hand swinging back and forth in the show so rapidly between the heroes and the villains. I feel like there's a pull there to get cynical. Like, what's the point? You know. But my, I guess, somewhat controversial opinion on this, judging by Attack on Titan, is that you know, one, I guess, way through that is you make it about yourself. You know, you make it about your actions and your conscience rather than an expected result and just doing what you feel is right. And you just trust that if enough people do that, that actually ends up being the solution. There are certain things in life that are one-time items and certain things in life that just require maintenance. For example, if you learn something new, you learn that thing and that is now like a tool, a foundation you have, you could build on. Other things that you, you incorporate can rest on that that structure. It's like a one-time thing. Other things, for example, like doing laundry, just have to be done multiple times. You know, you can't do your laundry once and have you know clean clothes forever. It's just not how it works. And I feel like it's such an amazing thing to be alive considering the fact that decay is such an integral part of existence that we are like simultaneously fighting decay while planting new rungs for ourselves all humans die you know all society seems to collapse in some form yet there is in objective ways what seems like change and progress and that seems to happen because people act despite the hopelessness despite the inevitability of demise and maybe even one way of framing good and evil is in a very zoomed out way that very battle you know the the battle to do things that cause more decay or destroy potential destroy growth and those that strengthen it you know strengthen a system from which to build out of the decay out of ruin i've been thinking a lot about legacy not only because of this show and the past lives but also because of to your eternity and i was thinking that our actions even at, at a very small level are more significant, more essential to existence itself or human existence itself than I'd previously thought because whatever existence is in any given moment is only that exact existence because of the exact components that came before it. Like any one component that goes off or is different changes the entire structure in significant ways because of the interconnectedness of all things. I think we underestimate our own significance because we think about the percentage of what we are. You know, like one human out of billions is sort of insignificant seeming. But then when you think about the fact that each person's actions forever change the entire thing, at least in its interplay, it becomes a little bit more significant and it makes our actions more important. And I think gives a greater responsibility for doing things that are, let's call it good, you know, or strong or healthy. And to me, that's like a good enough reason to show up, even despite the fact that there are like these, these cycles that just go on and on forever makes sense they can't publicly admit that they want to mobilize students bad publicity i don't like it this is unethical smendo's always so responsible speaking of foundations you can stand on please tell your students after this meeting yeah it's a lot to take in sir. but it's not like the students can't benefit from it you're saying you don't think there's a spy for the league of villains among the students back to the spy thing Every one of our Hero Course students has a heart that beats for justice. I don't want to think any of them could be a spy. The only person I ever suspected, I think, was Nezu, initially. 
Although now I don't know. I don't get that feeling. One, two, three. Merry Christmas, hey, everyone. Christmas. Like I said, perfect timing. I miss dorm life, man. I really miss dorm life. I've always loved it every time I had a situation where I lived with other people. You know, it was one of the best times of my life. I've, I've spoken a lot about Korea. One of the best times even in Korea was when I lived in a building that was occupied almost entirely by my coworkers. We all had separate apartments, but each lived like in the same apartment, but in different floors. And it was so magical because you know, I had my own space as an adult, but we would like do everything together, like eat dinner together, pregame together, go out together, be hungover together on Sundays. And it was one of the times in my life where I felt the most invulnerable. And I can't help but feel like a lot of that was social, you know? You never know. It's hard to predict what will do things for you. Sometimes it's the intangibles, but having that kind of support at my fingertips made everything just seem easy. I mean, even bad things became good because I got to like talk to the guys about it. Of course, it helped that they were, they were great people, but it's one of those things that you can't purposely create that, but they're special moments and you miss them when they're gone. I think about that a lot with fruit, Fruits Basket and them all living in that house. This is another example of that, you know, like how great is it that they just have each other like this all the time through all the highs and lows. We must be the busiest first years in UA history. Yes. Are you going back to join yes. the UQ? Yep, we are. Time to learn more killing skills. Going back to the Night Eye Agency? Oh, right. What do you do? I'm ashamed to say this, but right now we don't really have time to take anyone on. Centipede are refusing Deku after all that's happened? Okay, they're lost. You going back to Genus, Bakugo? Huh? Please go back to Genus. Please. We n Missing? Missing? We just got over his return and now, where the hell is best Genus? Sorry we're late. Have you started the party already? What is Aizawa like at parties? <laughs> hey, look who it is. I'm supposed to say... Not quite. Close. Wrong holiday. Off by a couple months. In sickness and in health. No, you're even further away. That now. what? What was that even? <laughs> she just pronounced everyone man and wife. Here, take these eggs. I can. <laughs> I love how she's going through all the holidays. <laughs> Shout out to our all our veterans out there as well. Yeah, I mean they deserve it like always. Once again, I feel like calm before the storm. We a little Christmas song as well. <laughs> Can you see food going down invisible? Never mind. Why does this feel like propaganda? Like, are they trying to sell me something right now? Are they just selling Christmas? That looks like an awesome gift. Who got him that? Did they do Secret Santa? That's an episode I want to see. Can we do a whole episode on Secret Santa? That's a neat idea. We're doing it. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. Did Ida get a brick of gold? Was that Momo's contribution? I feel like only she would do that. I feel like the frog mirror was from Sue. The dumbbell was from Kirishima, straight from his room. <laughs> and then I got a picture of <laughs> Can't Stop Twinkling, which honestly I think is the best gift out of the lot. Kamen already got a basketball, but I can't remember who does that. I could go get a pair of glasses, maybe Ida? Don't know. All I could think was, I hope we can have a fun Christmas party next year too. I wish yeah. that from the bottom of my heart. Right. Next year in season 18. Well, that was heartwarming. Definitely ending the episode on a more positive note than we started. <laughs> the start. Just utter chaos and destruction. Doomsday. The end. Christmas song. Presents. Two end credit scenes back Christmas to back. Party couldn't last you forever. know things are getting serious. Eventually, our thoughts turned back to the issue of where to go for work studies. We should have done a whole episode on the Christmas party. This is a missed opportunity. Come with me. Ooh, imagine them doing it Do together. Work study with Endeavor. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is an amazing idea. That would be f uh, Excuse me. <laughs> I got a little excited. That would be great. I feel like they knew it immediately too. What would be better than interning with the number one hero with each other? Especially because I feel like they've already gotten a lot of the things they, they couldn't get from Endeavor or would be misled by Endeavor already. Like the personality stuff and the connection and the sort of moral compass. And with that intact, they could do a lot of good with Endeavor's ability and his drive, his passion. That's a really exciting proposition. I would love to see that. Seems like that's where it's going. I mean, Todoroki had that reflection and realization. Why not Deku and Bakugo as well? That is like the only thing for Bakugo that I think is better than Best Genist, even though it's close. Best Genist needs to make a comeback with every passing episode he's not there. The spool of my heart just unravels. <laughs> but that is the end of this, what I think is the halfway point actually of this final season.